Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. We are gonna make stickers today, and with the new Cricut update, I thought it would be a great time to try it out uh, while I'm showing you. So actually, I'm not even sure what it's gonna look like. I know what it's supposed to do. <laughs> but the first thing that I noticed, and actually before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate it. Um, all right, so I came back from Nanta from Florida, uh, demoing out there for Artist Free, which my next video is going to show you all the my favorite new products that I was able to bring home. Uh, but in this one, so yeah, I've been gone. I want to see the latest update. The first thing that I noticed is that my projects are up here. They're not in the home page where you scroll through and you can pick your project. But um, I did scroll down a little bit and they have a lot of categories now, right? Um, so I'm assuming these things will obviously change depending on the season um, and what is, I guess, the latest thing. But um, I, you know, I want to look at flowers. But I saw this part and I thought, well, we, we're already doing stickers. So these are so cute. And I'm wondering what category they're in. Let's see. They're just in boba tea. Okay, so I want to know what to search for. All right. Now that we have some of these, let's go and actually make them. So I'm going to just grab one of these, add to canvas. And so let's talk about this sticker really quickly. I want to do a couple of things in this tutorial. I want to create that extra lip so that um, it's easy to peel off the stickers. And so we're, I'm going to show you how to do that, but also create your own stickers. So this one's already done, right? And you can see, um, that the diamond and the X's, they're not attached to the boba cup or drink, right? But it's all gonna work because there's this creamish offset so that the sticker is all one piece. You wanna make sure that the offset is really, really important because if it didn't have it, this diamond and this X would just fall off on the side because it's not attached to anything. So that offset is great for many projects, actually, for cake toppers, so that all your pieces have a home to sit on top of, right? Um, so for me, I love the offset. I love the offset for um, just aesthetically, like when you're layering names, which I have somewhere here. I thought I had it right available, but I don't. But I like that layered look. So an offset is always nice there pleasing to the eye but it's also very functional in a sense that you know it it keeps all your your entire all your moving pieces together okay so I wanted to show you that let's make this smaller and let's go and make some of our own stickers these stickers are so cute all right um so for our own stickers um, let's say we want to do let's go to images and what's coming up? We have Mother's Day coming up, right? So let's look at Mother's Day and see what kind of files that they have. So I might wanna make one and just give it out. Um, oh no, you know what's a better one? More Easter, let's do Easter. Cause Mother's Day, I'm, how many stickers am I gonna make for my mom? <laughs> or for my daughter to give to me? All right, let's pick a couple of these things. These things are cute. Easter, we've got some. Let's pick a cute little bunny. Um, this one's cute. I'm just gonna click on a few things, okay? So I'm gonna, so we'll have it all on the canvas. Um, okay, so I picked enough things, right? So let me move my face over so you can see what I'm doing. So anything that is highlighted in green like this um, it's going to, I'm going to add it to my canvas. The other thing to notice is if you see that A, that's for access. So it's included in your access um, membership if you have it. I do have it and I love it. So let's click add to canvas. Now this boba sticker, we can still add things to that boba sticker too. So let's, for instance, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. And this time I'm going to put, um, I'm just gonna type boba love. I don't even know if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna change that to uh, a font that's cute. So I'm gonna do this, make it smaller, um, and maybe make it in two lines, right? 
So I'm going to do this and my alignment, I'm going to change to center so it's more centered, obviously. Um, and I'm actually going to ungroup it. I'm going to change this boba to, um, let's see, what fun color do I want? Maybe a purple. And this one, maybe another purple. Did I do the same purple? I might have done the same purple. Okay, let's go and um, let's weld these. Okay. So I can add this in here and just have it part of my thing, or I can make it like somewhere else. I can, I can continue to do something like this. I'm not really loving it aesthetically. Maybe I'm going to put it like this. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm also tired. <laughs> Does that count? Um, my design right now is not looking good. Okay. But like I was saying earlier, like you want the offset, right? So I can easily just grab both of these items and do an offset now. And I'm going to do just a 0.05 offset and I'm going to apply apply okay and that offset is here I'm gonna change that to a creamish color right kind of like what they have but so that gets me to kind of like where I want to be it gives me that shade that range and now when I click on advanced um, I can go and make this a little bit lighter to kind of match what they had before so there I'm gonna do that I'm good and so now we have this okay so now we're gonna grab all of that and we're gonna flatten and look at how cute it looks like it's part of the sticker right I'm gonna make this bigger because the color scheme the offset it looks like Boba Love was part of the original design so you can easily grab any image and do that okay so I'm gonna leave that here let's work on our Easter sticker right I like this. Actually, I don't like this anymore. Let's see what else I have. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, and then this is in, it's kind of a cute little font. So I'm gonna hit Control C to copy, Control V, so that this gives me that font that I want. Let me see if I can change it. Oh no, what happened here? Um, oh, it didn't, weird, it didn't let me change it. Okay, so I'm going to now add, so Easter, right? Um, I'm going to add my daughter's name. So I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna type in Charlotte. Okay, and then I'm going to Round it a little bit because I kind of want it to go up here like this. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I want this in, I don't know, this little pastel-y color. And then I want to do an offset. And I'm going to make that offset. So you can see I'm just starting to add things, right? This offset, I'm going to make it a pink maybe, okay? So I'm done with my sticker. This is everything that I want to add. Maybe I want to put it like this. Okay, I'm going to grab all of this and um, I'm going to get an offset, right? Because I want everything to be on top of something. So let's do this offset. I'm going to apply and I'm going to make that offset the same thing. I'm going to go and click on a light color like this, okay? So now I've got my offset, I've got my sticker, I'm gonna grab everything and I'm gonna flatten. And look at how cute that sticker is gonna be, right? Okay, so we've got this. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this. That's enough of creating stickers. I mean, I wanted to show you, and actually what we could have done is, hold on, let me unflatten for a second. And let's pull this out a little bit, okay? These, so, oops, hold on, let me... Oh, it didn't let me change it sorry I uh, at this point I would need to undo it a couple times but before you do it and while it's an SVG file I actually could change any of the colors on here each one of these individual items I could have clicked on it 
and it's not letting me gosh it's so weird that it's not letting me unflatten anymore um, but normally I feel like I could have done it um, let me go and bring in the Easter Bunny again so just so that I can show you I don't want you to think I'm lying <laughs> um, or maybe I'll just do this one is this a print and cut okay let's add that to the canvas okay so it's not print and cut because you can see all the individual items are over here which means all these individual items I can go and change the colors okay so I can make this whatever I want it to be I can make it more vibrant or less vibrant whatever right so here's my basket I started making changes to it let's say I wanted the inside of those eggs to be a different color other than white um, that one you can't see I'm gonna change it to that so you can see right there you can make any of these changes which I love because then you can really customize it right and I'm gonna add Charlotte again so let me go to text and double click on it here and Charlotte okay bring it over here make it small so it kind of fits in this thing right I can even do it like that um, let's make it a bright purple and then we're gonna do our offset so I'm gonna grab this offset I'm gonna I like my super thin offsets so I'm gonna do a 0 0.05 apply there's my offset I want I don't want it black though right so I'm gonna change that to this color I'm kind of liking that color now I'm gonna grab this look at the change okay so I'm gonna make a copy so that we have a copy of what it looks like in the SVG form and this we're gonna flatten I mean it just it's gonna look like a professional sticker that's what I love about making stickers um, in design space okay so now let's oh I need to flatten this now oh holy <laughs> let me undo the whole thing okay here we go I'm gonna grab all this and I'm gonna flatten it okay so this I'm gonna make smaller and um, all right let's go to make it and see what we have so what's new in the latest update is I can move these around. We could not do that before. So we can make it super, super close to each other. Ah, I forgot what I was gonna do. We were gonna make an offset for all of these. Hold on. This offset is so that it will cut around our sticker so that we have that extra lip so it's easier to peel off, okay? So um, on these, I'm gonna do the offset a little bit thicker. I'm gonna do 0.10. Um, actually no I'm gonna make it big I'm gonna do 0 0.20 okay so it's just a bigger offset I'm gonna apply here I'm gonna do an offset apply offset apply offset apply so with these offsets um, this one right here I'm gonna duplicate I want to cut it a couple times because I want my Cricut to think, okay, for stickers, right? You want the first layer to cut around the sticker, but you don't want to cut it through your, your sticker paper. You want to be able to lift it up only, right? So that's going to be a one-time cut. The offset, the black offset, is going to be in the background, and it's going to cut around three times because now I want the, the offset, the sticker, the lip, to be bigger, right? and also to cut completely through my sticker paper so that I have, it's an easy peel sticker. So what you're gonna do is, let me pull this out. Oops. These three, I don't want them print, print then cut, okay? I just want them to be a basic cut, okay? So I'm gonna grab all of this now and I'm going to align and center Okay, and I need to bring my print and cut to the front. Arrange them to the front. Okay, and I'm gonna grab all of this and I want to attach them. I want this to print then cut and then, I want it to print and then I want it to cut, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these. I'm gonna grab this, duplicate, duplicate, make this, arrange, send to the front. These three, I know I'm going kind of fast, but you're gonna get it. I'm gonna to go to basic. 
I want a basic cut, okay? And then I'm gonna do this, grab all of this, um, align, center, and attach. Um, I'm wondering if all these colors, I'm gonna go to color sync for a second. Okay, we're gonna do that in a second. Let's do this one and let me go back to layers, duplicate, duplicate, bring this to the front. Grab all three, I wanna align, center it, and then this and this. Did I only do two? I wanna make it basic. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and attach. Okay, this, do the same thing here. Duplicate, duplicate, bring this to the front. Grab all of these and I wanna align them so that it's centered, and then I'm gonna attach. Now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go to color sync, and I'm gonna bring all of these to be the same color, okay? Now what is going on with this layer? Oh, this layer, I did not change it. I'm gonna grab all three. That's why I couldn't change it, right? Because it wasn't a basic cut, it was print and cut. Now I'm gonna go to color sync. I can grab this whole row and drop it into the pink, okay? That pink is not pink. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be the back layer of my um, of my sticker paper. All right, so let's go to make it now. And I'm gonna do two sets of each, okay? And can I make this? So I can move it, but these are as big as they're gonna be and fit. So I don't like that. Let's go back to cancel. I wanna see how much I can fit on here, okay? So let's go and bring in a shape. We're gonna bring in a square, because we know print and cut is limited by 6.75 by 9.25, okay? So here's my piece of paper. I'm gonna arrange and send to the back. Let me see how many I can fit. Cricut's telling me I can only print four stickers, right? And that might be the case here. But I feel like I can get I can get at least five, right? But what's cool too is now that I know this, I can duplicate it and make some smaller stickers, right? I know it can fit, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna do another one of these, duplicate. So you can do it like this. Um, I'm pretty sure that, let's see, let's duplicate this. Okay, once you've made all your stickers, what you do is you get rid of this piece of paper and you grab all of this, okay? I'm gonna duplicate it for a second. Because I want this to be free, free form. This one, I'm going to attach it. When I attach it, Cricut thinks I'm, I have one sticker. Okay, this whole sheet is one sticker. It's 6.75 by 9.25. It fits the parameters. This right here is freeform. The reason why I want it freeform is I wanna show you what it would look like. So let's go to make it and see how they sort the stickers and why that workaround or, um, yeah, why the workaround is good, okay? Because for this sticker, it's, you know, it's all on one page because we knew it was gonna work. On this one, it's saying this little guy has to be by itself. So it's gonna cut on two papers, on two sheets, instead of just one. Okay, but on this one, we can move around. I mean, clearly there's room for more. Actually, way more. I could have, on here, I could have added a whole row. Um, I wonder if it would, what would it do if I said two of everything? So here is ours, right? Already shifted. Um, so here's this. There's obviously room. I'm wondering, can you go to here, click on this? We can move the object. Let's see if we can move it. So I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, what happened? 
it like moved it, but I don't know if it worked. <laughs> Let's go back over here. What happened? Why did my little guy do that? Let's click on this, move object. Let's see if it lets me move it over here. So it moved it, but it doesn't look right. So I don't know if that's, I'm gonna test it and let you know. But all right, so let's look at the page that we really worked on though, right? So this guy, it's gonna cut the sticker and the lip, okay? So you're gonna send it to the printer. So I'm gonna go to continue right now. And once it goes, I'm gonna send to printer. What's important about here is you wanna make sure you send it to the right printer, add bleed. Before you hit print, what is important is you go to your settings. Because I print multiple things, oops, I want print, oh, it's already here. I'm gonna open my printer settings and I wanna to go to my Epson workforce and I wanna to go to print, printing preferences. I print for multiple projects. I wanna make sure that I have set this to the most, you know, perfect settings so that I get beautiful, vibrant, store-bought looking like stickers. So I'm doing rear feed. I wanna change heavyweight paper to um, glossy paper and I want color. I'm gonna go and click advanced. I wanna make sure, so it's on 600 by 600. I want color, I want high quality, all good. And I'm gonna click apply and okay. And now, I'm gonna get out of this. I wanna make sure I'm gonna send to the printer and now I'm gonna send it to my Epson workforce. So um, we're done. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the pictures. You can always go to the website, theuselesscrafter.com so that you can see the whole project. All right, thank you so much for watching this whole thing. I will see you next time. Please post in the comments projects you wanna see or any comments and questions. All right, have a good night guys, bye.